I believe when kids come to school and they feel safe, valued, and accepted, they're going to take advantage of the opportunities afforded, and they're going to learn. A parent's most valuable resource, and that's their kid. So we're entrusted on a daily basis from 8 to 4 to protect their, their most prized possession. Safety is the number one issue. It has to be. Uh, my name is Phil Ortega. I work for the Eagle Point School District. I am the attendance and student services supervisor and have been here for the past 14 years. I, I, love, I love my job, number one. I, I connect with kids. And my job is to build systems of support for kids. So when I see kids don't attend school, when I see kids dropping out, when I see kids in foster care or in homeless situations, I feel like I need to help any which way I can. Obviously, the mission in education is to educate, right? To, to make sure that all students are, are having high levels of success so that they have very bright futures. So that's the mission. But the number one uh, priority has to be safety because you cannot uh, achieve that mission unless you are not even making sure your students are safe. That's a piece of it. But the more important piece is that students feel safe. My wife and I wanted to start Life Art to help kids dealing with complexities in life. Um, a place where they can be themselves, where they wouldn't feel judged, where they could just be, um, just be themselves. Having a space here in Life Art means the world to me, honestly. Being able to have a place where I can go and be around people that are interested in the same things as me and are accepting and loving. Unfortunately, I didn't have the best home life, but the two places that I felt the best and felt the happiest were school and at Life Art. If kids aren't feeling safe uh, coming to school, it's going to affect attendance. And if kids aren't here, it's going to affect instruction and so on. And we have a motto uh, in the Eco Point School District of every student, every class, every day. And if we don't use this data to make real-time decisions, really informed decisions for students, then we're missing an opportunity with data that is very important to us. In the United States and across the world, you hear about school tragedies almost on a daily basis now. And in 2013, we, our school board at that time, they had some ideas about how to protect teachers, how to protect students. Um, one of the top priorities initially was either bulletproof glass or some type of one-way covering. Well, we chose Solar Guard, and I'm happy to say that now we have Solar Guard covering all of the entry points in every building in our district, and that's a huge, huge benefit. There's always talk out there of, of basically turning schools into a, a, a fortress of sorts or a prison-like setting. And um, adding the, the, the solar guard on there, it, it, it's unobtrusive. Um, you can't really tell um, that anything's happened. So I started doing a lot of research for products. And it was uh, a relationship that I had with a local um, a business. I really relied on his expertise to give me the information needed and then use uh, Solar Guard specifically. It's a no-brainer to use Solar Guard to protect children. So Phil invites me to some Alice training classes, and I do a demonstration on this class to show what the film does. The window film, if shot or broken, is going to hold itself together and allow the children inside to have time, including the faculty, to have time to find safety. So what I've done here is I've put a piece of glass together with window film on both sides. So with the film applied to the glass like this, you can see that it holds the glass together. This is what's going to give the kids that crucial time they need to get to safety. What really um, hits home close to me is, is some of these schools in my area that I've been applying film to are schools that I personally attended as a child. So it's kind of got a personal note and uh, I'm just thankful that I'm there to be able to supply this protection for the future kids. Um, our biggest challenge today is to bring awareness to these campaigns uh, and to the uh, advantages we can provide for schools to maintain safety for their children. Um, we're very proud to be partnered with the Eagle Point School District. They're doing some amazing things in terms of uh, the efforts being made to bring safety provisions to their children, and um, we're very proud to be a part of that effort. 
I, I love having the open concept. In a way, I feel like that's safety as well. I can walk through the pods and see what's happening in every classroom. And if there's ever an emergency, I can see directly in there. We want the pods to be learning spaces that are used as well. And so if students can be out in the pod working, the teacher can see them through the window still. We don't want them to block that off because then we don't have that sense of community. So having the solar guard on those windows would really allow us to continue doing that work. Uh, again, schools have to be a focal point of our community and they have to be inviting, they have to be open. And so having an open campus yet making sure that we have security measures in place is, is the perfect balance. When I see a young person, I don't think of just today, I think of tomorrow, the future, their development, that motivates me. I want a better tomorrow, and I want the people that we're in, in this thing we call life with, to pay it forward. If we can help young people develop to a point where they're helping others, that to me is, is what motivates me.